Today's topic is being the man with the plan. I noticed in my life uh, that one of the biggest uh, problems I usually have is that I'm somewhat emotionally based and not enough um, based on actual planning and actual um, uh, goal-directed behavior. So I recently asked myself, uh, why am I not moving as fast as I want? And then I did one of my meditations, and this is another topic I'd like to discuss soon. And during those 20 minutes where I sat down and just attempted the best I could to not think of anything, uh, what came up to my head was the intuition that although I have a, a certain idea of where I want to get to, there is no uh, concrete plan. And I found that the more uh, successful you are, uh, and also the less successful, uh, the higher the probability that you'll fall into this trap. So if you're not successful at all, uh, you're usually too stuck in your head to make plans. You think, oh, I'm an idiot, I suck, I don't know any way to do this. So you don't actually spend the time to sit down, create a plan, again, whether it works or it doesn't, actually sit down and, and project something and commit to certain actions uh, and that, that way get you know the feedback and the results. So you just kind of vaguely try different stuff out without any concrete, strong plans. Uh, again, the same thing is for people who already achieved certain levels of success because by that point you just think, oh, it's just me, I, I attract success, it's just something I'm good at. And then again, you get stuck. Uh, you don't really try anymore uh, to, you know, to actually go beyond what you can. So you use more intuition and feeling is what I'm trying to say. And you rely less on uh, just cold planning. So this is what I wanted to kind of share with you is uh, you cannot move forward properly if you don't have a plan. You know, sometimes in life we get on these um, really good uh, streaks where stuff just works out, like this works and this works. But the problem with it is that it's not consistent. So even if you're in a good period right now in your life, uh, if you look at the past in the last, let's say, 12 months, you'll see that month to month uh, stuff wasn't really happening. And then suddenly when it was, uh, you don't know what made it happen. Uh, you don't know how to keep it happening. All you can do is like ride the wave. So what I would recommend to you, uh, which relates to the meditation, is to take whatever it is that's bothering you, uh, wherever you're not moving as fast as you want, and sit down, sort of in a meditative position, so just sit and try not to think. Try actually being present with how you feel, and what you'll find is that your greatest inspiration actually comes from within. So suddenly a noise will talk to you, an intuition, an image, and then you'll get this a uh, strong sense that you know what you need to do. Like, I need to get up now, I need to do something. And what this is, is your intuition telling you, you need to go that way. <laughs> so uh, so for me, that definitely was the plan thing. Uh, and also, um, I'm back to listening to lots of Grant Cardone, because uh, I'm uh, selling a lot more now, I'm focusing a lot more on sales. And uh, stopping to focus, the fact that I stopped focusing on sales training and persuasion, uh, that was a huge mistake. So another small tip right there. Even if you're not in sales, uh, which again, we can argue about it uh, because you can say anything is a sort of a sale. Um, even if you're not directly in sales, you should watch and, and digest and, and practice uh, sales skills every single day because that will make a massive difference on your day-to-day -day life. That will put you in that money hustle uh, you know, getting people to take action kind of mindset. So yeah, all of that kind of combodulated together into me uh, making this both as a tip to you guys and as a declaration of my own that I'm going to sit down today and actually make a proper 10x plan uh, for reaching massive results by the end of this year. So I'll let you uh, in on more information once I have it, uh, probably by the end of the day. Uh, but I hope this tip helps you a lot. 
Uh, let me know if you have any questions, doubts, haters. Feel free to comment. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. And feel free to uh, message me or check out the links in the description to see my two awesome books and also tons of other stuff. So thanks for watching again. See you soon.